We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Oakland A's and the Philadelphia Phillies. Interleague Baseball next. Martin Perez gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Blizak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. Into the box now, number eight. They'll get us started in this one under the lights. First offering on its way. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight fellas they did get the win last time out but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah Matty I always felt like these were huge games whether it's earlier in the season or later in the season to find a way to get to 500. You feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a different direction. You cannot continue to ride that seesaw of win one lose one. This team has to get hot starts today. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Number eight that goes down for the first the out of the game. Marcus. Into the box now, Marcus Simeon. And she'll take a look at ball one. Perez has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. The 1 0. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. Now the one and one pitch. Hey. So one let's ball. take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And he takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into the start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He'll enter play here at an even 250. A dozen home runs, 39 driven in. Misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot late. 2 and 1 the count. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off again, ball three. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Aye. Oh, he had him fooled there. It's 3 and 2 now. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they only say with your man coming up, you want a four-hole monster. As soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's one in the scoring position. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. 
Gibson. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. It's coming here it is and the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for the ball. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun it's one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Chapman blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. I'm sure that that first run comes as a relief more than anything. But they could only muster one run the entire previous game, so to notch that run early takes the pressure off a little bit. And with a man standing at second, they're hoping that's just the beginning. Digging in, Chad Pinder. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. the stretch comes set the 0 1 slow roller down the third baseline and he can't pick it up that ought to go down as an infield single and the run is in to score from second it's a two nothing ball game and now three consecutive hits here in the top of inning number one. And these hometown fans are starting to wonder what's happening out there. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. Pinder is off of first with two away. Swing and a no miss, ball. and he's in the hole 0 2 now. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Goes Harper. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the A's two, and the Phillies nothing. Daniel Mengden will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? This guy's Mr. Old School. He reminds me a little bit of Catfish Hunter. Kind of animated on the mound. Has a little bit of a perky jerky delivery. Not overpowering. Good fastball. 89 to 92. Good mix of off speed pitches. But I will say this a strike thrower, and he's not afraid of the bat. He'll throw the ball over the plate. And there you see the leadoff man, Andrew McCutcheon, as he'll start us out in the home first. There's the pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. And Dan D. Rowe, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They come in trying to put together a complete ball game as they've lost their last two. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning Down. side. Oh, two. Behind 0 oh and 2 now. Change up, swung on, and missed for the first down. 
Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Gene Segura standing in. Fastball here as we'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Lifetime versus this arm. He's two for three. The one oh. Two and oh. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher when you're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. One out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. And great diving effort there, but it just tipped off his glove, and it's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish right He's trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably get that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 15 long balls and 38 runs batted in. One ball and one strike to the Phillies first baseman. in the mid 80s there it's a ball and two strikes fly ball out toward left center field left fielder giving chase he gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning Harper opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Full count now. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but 
I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with the base open to work with. Second inning set to go, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Jorge Mateo. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. McCutcheon is after it, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Batting eight, the catcher, number 40, Jesus Sucre. Stepping up now, Jesus Sucre. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Harper will wait on it. And that's at number two. Batting up. The pitch, number 33, Daniel Mendez. Now at the plate, Daniel Mengden. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull the trigger a little bit earlier in the count. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. A's are gone in order. They're up two to nothing. Justin Turner you should check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. hey we're still in the early stages of this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started Hit hard up the middle and a base hit so he goes after the first pitch he sees and he's on to open up the inning a nice leadoff single to start the second right there. They're already down. They've got to find a way to stay on the attack and get back in this game. We'll see how they play it here. Here's Jay Bruce now. As the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. with no outs here. That evens it up one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Backhand to try into the hole is short, but this gets on by. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit straight to the Are you going to go to the other side like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging it back as well after that knock right there. Hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. 
And in steps Scott Kingery. And he will somehow keep his eye on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number one. Just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. He's ready. Here's the first offer. In there, and it's 0 1. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. He threw that pitch for the purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. First and second now, one man out. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Two one. Outside, that's a ball. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Hey. And a full count now, three and two. Help Runners pull. are at first and second with one away. Misses with that one, ball four, and that's going to load the bases now. But still, only one away. Looked like he might have got squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Digging in now, Martin Perez. As he'll look to bring home that time run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. This is a situation where you have to step out of the box and tell yourself, my job is to get the runner in from third. It'd be nice to gap one and get them both in, but you want to take a little pressure off you offensively and just focus on being productive. The 0-1 delivery. Changeup gets him out of front. Strike two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Here's the 0 and 2. Heading out towards shallow right. Piscotti's there for it. He's there to make the catch. And here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. And these leave a couple. They trail it here 2 to nothing. recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier making sure that it goes up before it comes down more likely to be a hanger when that's the case swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away that swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on it's really not the best two strike approach either standing in now Marcus Semyon First pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. In his career, Simeon is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. That's ball inside, 2 0. Ball to 
strike on the inside part of the plate two and one. All even now two and two. Bases are empty one man. Out. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Now batting the third baseman, Matt Chapman. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that means Matt Chapman will dig into the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Circle change and a beauty. It's 0 and 2. And 0 and 2 and misses with a fastball. Well, there's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. McCutcheon is under it. Makes the catch, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the A's. As they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew. Ready to deliver. Here's the first okay. pitch. In there at the knees as he offers a strike to the leadoff man, nothing in one. Wind up and the 0 1. Gets the fastball no by him here strike. and he's in control 0 and 2. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. And it's fouled away. Maybe One trying ball. to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Lays oh, off two and two now. Good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. He's looked great on the bump for the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there. And I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Now here's the pitch. Segura is really a well-balanced hitter. It doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing the right-hander or lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. The one-two. Looped out toward third, and this will be taken in by the third baseman for the second out. Number baseman, number 17, three. Okay. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Flyed out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. 
Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's hey. feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. The Scotty's there for it. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down two to nothing. Matt Olson will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Sent out to straightaway center field. After it is McCutcheon. He won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. And he will make it there safely as he fires off the fourth with a leadoff triple. In most parts of the league, that would be a round triple. I mean, he hits this thing probably more than 400 feet, but he'll have to be content with a triple. Has to feel good about the way he hit it, though. And that brings up Chad Pinder. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given a chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. So that will bring up Steven Piscotti. And he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Here it comes on one and one. Oh, right back. on it one gone so after getting the strikeout on the fastball not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters both guys pretty close top speeds of 95 and 94 coming to the plate now Jorge Mateo he flew out in his last at bat First pitch on its way. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Fly ball out to straightaway center. McCutcheon is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The throw is wild and he gets away. The catcher, number 40. He did. He did. Next up for the A's, Jesus Sucre. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he can't track it down. A base hit. 
and the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to a four nothing now. Hey, Hero, there's a prime example, a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. For the plate now, Daniel Mengen. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One count and the pitch. Runner on first with two away. Bouncer to the left side. Barehanded by Segura. What an outstanding play to end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Oakland is on top in this one, four to nothing. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Bryce Harper. Williams. They'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Owen won the count. Owen won the count to Bryce Harper. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first to the out three unassisted. Now that not your problem. Just Turner. Next to the plate for the Bills, Justin Turner. He reached on a single in his first truck. Now here's the pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Up next for Philadelphia. No one fielder. Jay. Bruce. Two are gone in the Philly fourth. And stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Bruce. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. The wind up and the 0-1. Fastball oh, well outside. That's into the corner of foul ball and right. Bases are empty here with two men out. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Uh, two two. Three. Three called, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They're down 4 nothing. Ready for another shot now. Number 8. He's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Come on. Inside, ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now, 2 0 home. And 
he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Well, ball three, and listen, the Oakland A's right now would love to get this leadoff guy on any way they could. They would love a leadoff walk. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start, that's for sure. Zach Eflin takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. offering hey. nobody out runner on first nope ball and strike one ball one strike he's going he's, he's going, running he's going. pitch ball misses low good. the throw down and it's he's far dead. too late as he steals second with ease well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear, so they're going to keep trying to pile on. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything. And then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the Ori coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Hard hit ball to second. That's in there. Base hit. Put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Nice piece of hit right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it. You freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. No balls in one strike. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Runners are at first and third with none out. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, behind the back. And the tag gets him. The one run is in to score on the play. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning clicking there with first and third and no outs. But the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Two out, nobody on. Right. 
hit high and deep is straight away right field. Back goes Harper, and it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot that time for Matt Olson, number 14 on the season. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So yeah. now to the plate, Chad Pinder. Yeah. He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Pitch to the plate is a slider for his strike, and it's all knotted up at 1 and 1. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one, one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Up with it, Navarez. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. Last half of the fifth coming up. The A's lead this one six to nothing. Stepping in, Scott Kingery. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Now here's the pitch. He lays off there, one and zero. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point, because everything he's done has worked. The one zero home, and this one is too far inside. Ball two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Swing and a line drive, but a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here you go, here you go. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another 2 2. Guide into very shallow right. Piscotti on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batter. The catcher. Oh, ball. Digging in. Omar Narvayan. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope, this is high, ball. a ball and a strike. I got a ball, one one right. out, nobody on. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. 
This is skied into short left center. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Next for Philadelphia, the pitcher, Zach Eflin. Andrew Benintendi will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Andrew Benintendi. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. That misses and we're even at 2 and 2. He went with the off speed there once he got up to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Here now the 2-2. Line towards center field. Mateo is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Francisco Liriano gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guy. Set for the start of the inning. Next to the video outfielder, Steve Scott. The right fielder, Steve First offering on its way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Here's the 0 1. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you've got to let go on. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter. Now when you fall behind in the, the count, one and two, you're Jorge. probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches. But when the pitcher offers up a good hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. At the plate now, Jorge Mateo as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Comes set and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Two, he misses with a fastball. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Way 
On the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Rowe gets it to them. Now back, Tetris, Jesus, Kuzle. Digging in once again, Jesus Sucre. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. That's the ball. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So at the very least, that two out base hit will prevent the pitcher spot from leading off the next inning. Boy, there's a long drive pulling off the wall right there. But the outfielder does a really good job, Nero, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. one oh count here it is ball close through. there but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball can't fall behind against the pitcher need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs and this is certainly one of them two and oh count and the pitch oh, he swings right through it there two and one. Bell kicks and deals. Count is three and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Two out with the man at first. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pick. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Now batting. This could have been much worse for the first baseman here. He goes up for the throw, leaving his feet and exposes himself to a potentially devastating collision. He's lucky he didn't get taken out right here. Now with the plate, number eight. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Took a little off, and it's in for a cold strike one. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Hit out towards second. Kingery's there. On the first, and the A's fail to catch in here. The side is retired. When we return, it'll be Andrew McCutcheon to start things out. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The A's lead it six to nothing. So the next.
next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Andrew, when you go these surrender, one hit on top of three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, man. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Count one and Gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. Now batter, the third baseman, Gene Segura. In now, Gene Segura. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And oh, look out! One, up no and play. in, and nearly took his head off. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 0 now. One thing's clear he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly, this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Popped him up. Number eight waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now back, first baseman, three. Digging in now, Reese Hoskins. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch coming, here it is. And that misses for ball one. Well, and he falls behind now, two and all. No break. Three and oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Bouncer to the left side. And that's through for a hit. The danger of falling behind three oh, up. You know, which guys in the lineup outside the middle of the order are going to pull the trigger in the spot. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Harper behind with an 0-2 count, and two oh count and now. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Here's the 0-2. Oh a ball, ball and two strikes two now. Strike. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They still find themselves down six zip. New inning set to get underway, and up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon. 
stretch. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. He's right there. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batter, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Into the box now, Matt Chapman. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, one Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Nope. At okay. the letters, but called high, it's a ball. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Bruce back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Now batting the first base, Matt Olson. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. And he bats here only a single shy, the easiest of them all, to complete the cycle. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. The left fielder, number 20. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the offense right there. Nice piece of hitting. Executed his pitch away again, but the hitter was able to stay on time. Play Chad Pinder. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. Here it comes, one and oh. Fouled off. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fouled away. Two out here, and a runner at second. That's a ball. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals, and it's fouled away. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Two two one more time he is swung on and missed he got him danger averted following the two out double we're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Stepping up is the shortstop, Justin Turner. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Here comes the first pitch. 
Hey. Hey, this guy's been throwing at Gem so far. We're moving on later into this game. And he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. The wind up and the 0-1. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0-2. Yep. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. And a fastball in the One dirt that's taken for a ball. On 0-2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off yep. because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Shot down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. No problem yeah. there, one away. The left fielder, number 23, Jay Roof. Stepping up to the plate, Jake Roots. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. No, that's that's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mateo is there, two gone. The batter, number four, second baseman, Scott Kingery. Stepping into the box, Scott Kingery. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First offering on its way. Ball Fastball back, just misses. That's ball one. Two out, nobody on. Line drive, snagged on a short hop. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Ready to begin the eighth, and up next, the Getting outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. The right fielder, Stephen Piscotti. Ready. Here's the first offering. One oh. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Now here it comes. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run column. Now in the box, Jorge Mateo. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. 
Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Into center field, line drive base hit. Whoa, that ball was close. Whizzed right by his head. I think he probably heard it go by, guys. That's pretty unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me, I know. In now, Jesus Sucre. So he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitch. Throw over to the bag, and the runner will get back standing. Runner at first here, one man out. Liner toward right center. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Throw into third. And he'll make it to third, and there are runners at the corners with only one out. The pick not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, he'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Mike Morin is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Corey Dickerson will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hole in the order here on that double switch. Number 12, Corey Dickerson. Into the box, Daniel Mengden. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Morin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And he misses with it, one and one. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Change up. Good pitch there, one and two. The count is one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a the tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Stepping in now, number eight, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0. -oh. It's a base hit in the center field. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's 7-0. Boy, talking about the picking your teammate up after that strikeout, he wrote big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Into the box now, Marcus Semyon. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Well, that's out. Two down, runners at first and second. 
Shortstop behind with a one and two count. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. Whoa, to two balls down. and two strikes now. High in the air out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the ace coming up. Oakland is on top in this one, seven to nothing. Jake Deakman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 35, Jake Deakman. Ready once again, Omar Narvaez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the game. It doesn't look very promising so far on this one as we move into the later oh, yeah. innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope, it's a breaking good. ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Look out! Two and zero oh now. Two and one now. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Now the pitch. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. So it was a strikeout looking there. Omar Narvaez is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. The 0 1 pitch is taken. That's ball one. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. One one lifted the other way to left center left fielder giving chase he gets there and that's the second out. Now that the center fielder Andrew. Okay. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Andrew McCutcheon could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Come on now. 
game. Ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down by a touchdown. Seven nothing. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Matt Chapman. First delivery to him on the way. Ninth Aye. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Takes this the other way to right. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably the wasn't even in the zone. And he was able to fight it off for a base hit. Plate, Matt Olson. And he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline oh, pitch at strike one. And he's got the tough ones out of the way. Only a single, and he'll have the cycle. <laughs> Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Changeup gets no him out in front for strike two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. A runner at first with no outs here. And he struck him out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. In now, Chad Hinder. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Here's the 1 and 2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. So now to the plate, Stephen Piscotti as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Hard hit ball to second. Kinder is there. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. One left for Oakland and they hold a 7-0 lead. At the 
plate, Gene Segura. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being no, shut out. Bad, boy, you know, I just Jeez. haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Oh. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Set and the pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. And that one's wide of the mark. Ball three. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Three and one. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And there's one down now. Digging in, Reese Hoskins. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. Harper now. She'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung One on ball. and missed. Two so three. now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Philly down to their last strike. Two and two, two now with two, two out here in the ninth. This one Can't sinks pull. low on a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. Lost him. All four is Harper will reach. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that in the end and end up walking him than serving on up or he can really hurt her. At the plate, Justin Turner. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. And that misses low and away. Bowl one. Nope. One and oh. A 
Ball and a strike now. And there's ball two now. The 2-1 home. Ripped on the ground to first. Go on to first will be in time to take care of him. And the A's have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure's off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. A 7 0 shutout final score tonight. The Athletics jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Daniel Mengden wins his third of the season. Martin Perez is only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Prezak, Heidi Watkin, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the